what buyers and sellers need to know about the appraisal gaps. Well, it's economy 101. When supply is low and demand is high, prices naturally rise. And that's what's happening in today's housing market. Home prices appreciating at a near historic rate, and that's creating some challenges when it comes to home appraisals. Hi, my name is Ksenia. I'm with Keller Williams Realty East Bay. Well, in recent months, it's become increasingly common for an appraisal to come in below the contract price on the house. Sean Telford, um, chief appraiser for CoreLogic, explained it like this, and I quote, So recently, we observed buyers paying prices above listing price and higher than the market data available to appraisers can support. The difference is known as the appraisal gap. And what is an appraisal gap? Why does an appraisal gap happen? So basically, with a high titan buyer's market, purchasers are often willing to pay over asking to secure their home of their dreams. And if you ever tour the home you fall in love with, you would understand. So once you start to picture yourself in the beautiful furniture in the rooms, you want to do everything you um, can to land the property, including putting a high offer to try to beat out other would be buyers. So when the appraisal comes in, they look at things a bit more objectively and their job is to assess the inherited value of the home. So they're going to study the facts and Dustin Harris, appraiser coach, tries this point home. It's important for everyone to understand that the appraiser's job is to an end to remain that unbiased third party to truly tell the client what the home is worth in the current market and regardless of what decision have been made on the price side of things. In simple terms, while home buyers willing to pay uh, more appraisers there to assess the market value of the home and their goal is to make sure the lender isn't loaning more money than the home is worth. It's objective rather than emotional. In highly competitive market like today, having a discrepancy between two numbers isn't unusual. And here's a look at the increasing rate of an appraisal gaps according to data from CoreLogic. What does it mean for you? Ultimately, knowledge is power. The best thing you can do is understand appraisal gaps may impact your transaction if you're buying or selling. If you do encounter an appraisal below your contracted price, know that in today's seller's market, the most common approach is for the seller to ask the buyer to make up the difference in price. Buyers, be prepared to bring extra money to the table if you really want the house. And above all else, lean on your real estate agent. Whether you're a buyer or seller, your trusted advisor is your ally if it comes up against an appraisal gap. We'll help you understand your option and handle any additional negotiation that need to happen. Bottom line, in today's real estate market, it's important to stay informed on the latest trends. Let's connect so you have an ally to help you navigate an appraisal gap to get the best possible outcome. My name is Ksenia, I'm with Keller Williams Realty East Bay. Client focused, results driven.